All right, let's look at how live streaming works. Like I said in the previous topics, live streaming is the process of broadcasting real-time video and audio content over the internet to an audience that is watching it live. Here is how it works. The first step in live streaming is to capture the content that you want to broadcast. This can be done using a camera, microphone, or other equipment that is capable of capturing video and audio. Number two is encoding the content. Once the content is captured, it needs to be encoded. This involves converting the raw video and audio data into a digital format that can be transmitted over the internet. This is typically done using an encoder, which can be a hardware-based or software-based, and we shall look at that later in the video. Step number three is transmitting the content. After the content is encoded, it is transmitted over the internet using a streaming protocol such as RTMP, real-time messaging protocol, or HLS. This involves sending the encoded data from the encoder to a streaming server. Don't worry about all these technical terms, but uh, this is what I mean in a simple language. For your video to be streamed or to be seen by people in different places, it needs to be sent in a server that people can have access to on platforms like YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Live. After the content has been transmitted to a particular server, on number four, we have the distribution of the content. The streaming server where the footage has been transmitted to then distributes the content to the audience who can view it live on their devices. The audience can then access the live stream using a web browser, a mobile app, or other streaming software and platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. And then after your content is being seen by different people in different areas, whether it is via YouTube or Facebook, on number five, we have what we call to interact with the audience, right? During the live stream, the audience can interact with the broadcaster and other viewers using the chat, comments, or other forms of communication. This allows for real-time feedback and uh, engagement. In conclusion, live streaming involves capturing and encoding video and audio content, transmitting it over the internet using a streaming protocol and then distributing it to the audience and allowing for real-time interaction and engagement. In the next chapter or in the next topic, we shall look at uh, the equipment that you need for a professional live streaming. Now it's getting interesting. I'll see you in the next chapter.